has anyone married as a result of a, if we are still single by, age, pact, how did it work out? A couple of friends from high school made such a pledge, I believe, by the time we are 35. He always had a crush on her, she was always interested in other guys and straight up said she'd settle for him, if no other takers. They moved in together, only as roommates. In late 20s, had awkward drunken sex one night a few years later, next morning, don't think this means we are together. And a few years after, that they were basically a couple, though she insisted they weren't. At 35, I asked him, if they were finally official. He said, she says she just uses me for her lady needs, but I asked her once how she'd feel about me dating someone else. She told me to feel free to date anyone I want, if I'm okay with getting my dick cut off in my sleep. So yeah, I'd say we are official. My best friend of 10 years said to me one day in a group conversation that, if we weren't with anyone by the time she was 30, she was 25 at the time, that we would have to be together. As beautiful as she was slash as I never made a move, because I used to date her female best friend, so I thought the girl code would hold my advance. Sure enough, once she said that, I was like hold up, she's possibly into me, I made the move. Six months after that conversation, we got married. It was a fairly easy transition. Currently married for 3 years with 2 children. Im fucking loving every moment of it. A friend of mine and me agreed that, if we were ever both single at the same time, we would just date each other. She was easily in 9 tenths, and I had a huge thing for her. After we both had bad breakups, I reminded her of this agreement. We dated for 30 minutes, while she laughed at me. Kind of. We left our spouses around the same time, not for each other, and decided to share a house. We got to taking one night, and decided we each had all the things the other was looking for, plus we got along really well. We were in our mid-thirties by then, and sick of the dating scene, so we just laid it out like a business arrangement. What started off as an arrangement eventually evolved into something extremely serious and passionate. We've been together now for almost 7 years, and married for almost 1. We are extremely in love, and I have zero regrets. Well, my best friend, and I made that pact, when we were 13 and just friends. We pledged to marry each other, when we were 30, if we hadn't found anyone else by then, which really kind of made him happy sad, because he was worried I'd find someone else within that amount of time and he'd be left alone. So, he was kind of prompted to ask me out. Long story short, we've been together for about 4 years. We are still really young, but yeah, we want to get married, and move to California, and raise some cats together, and become teachers. Maybe we'll get married in a few years. At least, before we are 30. Okay, I made pacts with a bunch of female friends through school, college, and university. On my wedding day, just before the service, one girl made reference to it, the fact we had made a quote silly pact, only for two of the other girls to which I also made a pact with, to overhear her, and state that they also had a pact. All three were shocked I went to such lengths. I was coy about it though, and made the pacts at different ages in case one or two became off the market. You could say I was a pact player. TL, doctor, made multiple pacts, invited said girls to my wedding years later, they all found out together. Damn, I've probably missed the window for applying, but here goes anyway. We met at a school dance in 7th grade, the day after her 12th birthday. We dated for just over 3 years into 10th grade, then she broke up with me just before Christmas, because I was a foolish little boy. Luckily for me, she's the most kind-hearted, caring person I've ever met, and we remained friends despite my general chicassery. We both dated other people through the rest of high school and college, and into our mid-twenties, and somewhere in there we agreed to get married, if we were both single at 35. I'm not sure either of us really meant it, but I do know that we both cared deeply for each other. I had gone south for college, while she went north, and neither of us stayed in contact with many people from high school, but we always made a point to catch up once a month. Then, this past Christmas, almost 11 years to the date that we broke up, and the first time we had been single at the same time, she asked if I had ever seriously considered the two of us getting married. 
A few days prior she sent me a text asking if I wanted to get drunk and watch Christmas movies, which was a bit different from any of her previous invitations to hang out, so I was anticipating, or maybe mostly hoping for, this very conversation, and had bought her a gift reminiscent of the one I gave her back in 7th grade. I gave her the gift, and told her she had always been the most special person in my life. Long story short, that conversation may have saved my life. Over the preceding year, I had become depressed, drank heavily, and abused amphetamines and opiates. I opened up to her about all of that, and she accepted me in spite of it. Two months later, I quit my job, which I hated with every ounce of my being, and I moved to be with her. We've lived together for the past 4 months, I've quit all of the nonsense, and gotten back on the career path I wanted, and 2 weeks ago I asked her to marry me. She said yes, and I've never been happier in my life. We jumped the gun by about 8 years, but I'm not complaining. She was the loud, popular social butterfly, I was the awkward sheltered kid. By way of sheer luck and proxy we became very close friends in high school, nearby lockers, nearby seating, I had a car, and could drive her home, that sort of thing. Like I'm sure many of you have experienced yourself, I couldn't not crush on her something fierce, but I obviously wasn't going to make the move on someone so far out of my league and ruin our friendship. I forget exactly how the conversation came to be, but at one point she brings up how we should totally get married, if we are both still single by the time we are 30. Obviously she's joking, or she'll find someone way before then, so I sheepishly agree and forget about it. I even set her up with a friend of mine, and they were great together. Graduation comes, she moves to the other side of the country, military parents got reassigned, and we effectively drop out of contact, like so many other high school friends. Two years later I make a Facebook page, while way behind the curve like anything else in the social realm, we get back in contact, and she starts unloading on me about her failing relationship with the guy I set her up with. Apparently the long distance wasn't working too well, and he had become distant to the point of outright ignoring her. Sucks and I'm disappointed in my friend, but I'm happy to hear her voice again, and being her shoulder, to cry on again works just fine. But then the conversations get longer. Like, phone calls that last from midnight to 6am, and texts first thing in the morning long. And then she brings the pact back up. And then she tells me the relationship with the friend is effectively dead, and she's tired of waiting for him. And then she says she loves me, she's always had a thing for me, she just didn't want to say anything for fear of ruining our friendship. We were together for 3 years long distance, only ever seeing each other during holidays and long breaks, before I graduated college, and moved across the country to be with her. We are getting married in October, 5 full years before the packed world have happened. I still like to joke that, since we said the I love US before even starting the relationship, I've never actually dated anyone. We were both never single at the same time, but always best friends. Made a pact in high school that, if at 30 we are both single, we'd get married. We stayed friends after graduation, and at 25 we started hanging out more and more. We fell deeply in love, and on our 30th birthday, yes we have the same birthday, we were married. Life couldn't be better. Not a pact, but a joking promise. My best friend and his girlfriend had been dating for several years. When I asked why he hadn't proposed, I didn't know they were having problems. I told her, jokingly, remember, if he didn't marry her in a year, I would. We were friends, never dated, never kissed, nothing. One year later we were walking down the aisle. Can't stress how big of a surprise it was for both of us when we got together. That was to kids and almost 24 years ago. Our oldest starts college this fall. Best thing is, we are the way we were when we were just friends. Being married hasn't changed much. Some of you people think that this is because of someone not wanting to commit when in fact it can be a noble request. I joined the military at 18 years old. After military, transferred into private sectors of government contracts and assignments as an engineer. I tried having an apartment in my hometown, but after averaging 3 weeks a year just in the United States alone it was pointless to own an apartment, house or even try to maintain a relationship. I wouldn't have minded to attempt this, if we are still single by, age, packed because I'm now looking for the one. 
but to make that commitment when so young, I honestly don't know if I could commit. Like, what if she uses spaces and not tabs when coding? OMG. Had that deal with a friend from church camp. If we were both single at 30, we'd go for it. He dated my good friend when they were 16, then that relationship blew up. A year or so later, we started going out. In the 3 months we dated, he treated me like shit, made fun of me for not doing drugs with him, cheated on me. Then, when I told him we could try and work through it, he dumped me for being too clingy. So, I'm not gonna recommend it. I did. 3 years ago I was married to someone else, I'd known her for 17 years, we kept missing each other. She was at my first wedding. We always stayed friends. Her boyfriend got rough w slash her, and she was miserable, he was a deadbeat. I was miserable with a very yell all the time wife, that cared less for my ambitions than her domestic ideals. I drove to my hometown, helped her pack her stuff, left my wife, and followed her to her safe place. That's a whole other story of her narcissistic family, even more people, that mistreated my friend, but she's with me, and we are safe together now, and married her last year. We had a couple of those agreements, 30, 35, 40, kids age. She's amazing and I can't believe that I'm the person who gets to treat her the way she deserves. I wouldn't say as a result, but when my now wife and I were 19, we dated for a few weeks, and during that time, I suggested if we were still single and childless by age 35, we should look each other up and have kids. After college, we rekindled that romance, dated 2 years, broke up for 9 months, dated again 9 months, then she moved to Japan for 2 years, I followed her after 1. 5 of those years, and asked her back to the states. We dated another 5 years before I proposed, got knocked up, and were married just before my 35th birthday. We had our beautiful daughter just before her 35th birthday. And we are doing great. We are about to celebrate our 5th anniversary, and today, July 4th, is the 17 year anniversary of our first date after college. Life is sweet. No but I kinda have the opposite, my great uncle and his wife got into a huge fight early on in their marriage in the 1960s. She told him she would file for divorce the day their son turned 18, he was a toddler then. Things cooled off, went about their lives, holidays, school graduation, etc. My uncle thinking everything is fine. Then after their son turned 18 she hands them the divorce papers, he jumped into traffic not much later. I'm in a pact like this, still have 5 years left for her or me to find someone. Funny thing is it was her idea, I thought she was just really drunk. But she kept bringing it up when drunk or sober. I've never had successful relationships and she's dated every category of doucher bag there is. We are an unlikely pair, but we found each other, and there is some strand of fate that doesn't let us drift too far from one another. My girlfriend and I had to split up, because she had to go off to the police academy in Miami, we lived in California. We said to each other that at the very train station she left, that we'd meet up in 7 years exactly, and if we were single, we'd give it another shot. 7 years later she showed up waiting for me, but what she didn't know, was that I had to go into witness protection, because I was a witness to a mob hit. She didn't know that, so she used her police resources to look me up. She graduated police academy, and worked in Miami, until she found a job as a detective in Santa Barbara, California. She couldn't find anything, so she had some friends help her find my whereabouts. What they found was a report saying I had died in a car crash. She was devastated, but her friends found the death report suspicious, so they went out to search for the perpetrator. My ex had told them that I had broken up a perfect ceramic Dumbo set by giving her one because she loved Dumbo so much as a kid, and it just so happened I was selling that for and extremely rare might I add, set minus the one I had given Jules, that was her nickname. They tracked down the address of the person selling the set, me, and knocked on my door. Needless to say they were shocked that I wasn't dead, and Jules was quite pleased as well. I don't know how things will go, but the future looks bright.